Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing Basketball Wilds LA Season 2 Episode 4 Review Recap. I want to apologize, my brother has my camera so I have to use my webcam and yeah, sorry for the quality of the video. But hopefully this turns out right and yeah. So we're going to start off with Jackie's little pool party get together for the girls. Apparently she didn't spend the last... 48 hours getting everything together on little sleep to get everything right. She didn't get these joy and happiness later. It's all just plastered onto the bush. She got a lot of food and all that stuff. Chairs just waiting for the girls. So, Drea, I believe it was Drea and Laura walked in. And they looking and like, she got this like, soon as you walk in the house, this table. And it looks like she went took her time, got on the computer, and Googled each girl's name, and found a photo of them, printed it out, and put it in the frame. Because, like, it was Drea's photo, Laura's photo, Malaysia's, and Gloria's photo, um, photos just sitting there next to the food. And Drea was looking like, why she got pictures of How did she get pictures of it? What is going on? So she was like, okay, I need a drink. Her and Laura get a drink. Then Malaysia shows up, Gloria and Brooke show up, which I was like confused why Brooke showed up, but Jackie invited Brooke. So the girls is all sitting there, and Drea was like, hey, what's going on, Jackie? I was supposed to be the one who brought everybody Sorry about the head. The picture kind of went out. But anyway, Drea's like, hold up, Jackie. I want to say something. Why did you go call Gloria? You heard me tell you that I was going to get everybody together so we can, you know, discuss what's been going on with you and everything else. And you took it upon yourself to call Gloria yourself. I was sitting right there with Gloria discussing it and you brought it up. And that makes it seem like you didn't trust me. And that little bit of jacket came out. Hold on, hold on. Okay, we're not going to go through all this. We have bigger things to go through. There's new girls who are trying to penetrate our circle. And I'm like, what? Now, mind you, Brooke is sitting right there. And we ain't you the one new to the circle. Remember, you got kicked out, banished on the island. And you the one got banished when we was back in Hawaii. Don't try to come over here with that stuff. She's like, if this shit was going through her thing, like, Jackie, you know, that crazy just wanted to just pop out of her. So then... Brooke decided to come for Dre. Like, well, she ain't come for Dre. She's like, well, Dre, you know, that photo shoot, what was going on? And Dre was like, well, I, the dude that was doing the photos, we didn't already had no email. He didn't already sign a contract that I was supposed to have a clothes set. It was supposed to be me, the makeup artist, the clothes person, and the photographer. Nobody else was supposed to be there. It was no offense to you. And I didn't mean to mess up your shoe, but apparently you had a good shoot. But that's the way I roll. You may not roll that way, but that's how I roll. I want to close it. I want to private doors close, all that stuff. So they get past that. So now Jackie feeling some kind of way, the way Dre had just like you know popped off at her. So she's like, I got cards for everyone. And they was reading her cards. Like, oh, that's so sweet. Dre, she was almost crying. But Jackie was like, I wanted a bigger, you know. Thank you than that. That wasn't nothing. Nobody cried. Nobody held to me. None of that. So, so I blame Drea. Drea set the mood from the beginning. And that's when all the girls followed. So now she has to go clean up her mess. She has to go to each and other girl and explain to herself. I'm not crazy no more. I'm a changed person. Please be my friend. As in other words. So she meets up with Laura. And Laura's like. Jackie I'm tired of going through this. We too old for this. Then we get past this. You trying so hard. Just making it so difficult. Girl just stop. And I'm with her. I'm like just stop. Calm down Jackie. Cause you're getting on my nerves. So Malaysia. And I think it was Gloria. They go out for lunch. And they walk past um jewelry store where Malaysia's um jewelry's been sold and he's like, Yeah, everything's selling like hot cakes. We're gonna have to do a new opening and bring out some new stuff and you bring your friends and I bring my friends and this be a party. So she had this necklace, it was a basketball wife necklace, it was 
basketball with a crown on it. She's like, this is going to be exclusive for basketball wives, girlfriends, and maybe the mom. Everybody can't get this piece. It's just something exclusively for us, the club that we're in. Yeah. Malaysia, I wasn't going to talk about this, but Malaysia, she's trying to do voiceovers. And she wasn't doing too good on it. But the woman let her know, hey, sometimes it takes a minute to get, you know, get everything you need to know out. In the back. So we're going to move over to Laura and Malaysia meet up with um, Malaysia's friend, Bambi. Now Bambi, she's already feeling some kind of way about Laura because last season when Laura and Malaysia got to fight. And she was like, I'm protected of, you know, I'm protected of Malaysia. So, I don't like this girl. But if Malaysia's got past it and her and Laura are friends now, why are you mad? That's what I want to know. This girl been in forgave her, so why are you still holding a grudge? So apparently Bambi, she's some rapper. She's from L.A., but she's, you know, doing a lot of stuff in Atlanta. She got a show coming up. Laurel's like, I, I can flow. Let me be a part of your concert. And apparently they're going to be friends now. But, you know, they was talking about, um, what's her name? Brooke. And the story that Bambi was telling seemed a little bit different than the story she told Malaysia. And Malaysia was looking like, hold up now, that ain't what you told me. She was like, yeah, I was friends with this dude and she was going out with him and she felt some kind of way about it. Now, I'm paraphrasing. And, you know, me and him, we was going to talk, but we didn't. And she been running her mouth. And Malaysia was like, hold up. You said that that was her boyfriend and he was sending you gifts and that's why you was mad. When this whole new story come about. I was more upset about this, the fact that you was receiving gifts from somebody who's already in a relationship. But maybe the man, maybe the Malaysia wasn't you know, too concerned about that. So, Brooke and Jackie meet up. Which I'm like so confused about this because... Wasn't it just like last season when Jackie was jibbing all down Dre? They will Dre or nowhere around Doug. can be within a hundred miles of Doug. You stay away. But you didn't invite Brooke to your house. You didn't invite her Brooke out to lunch. And apparently she figures, hey, me and Brooke got a lot of things in common. We say what we want to say and keep it as that. And then Jackie brings up this Bambi situation. Why are you being messy, Jackie? And she was like, you know, it was that thing. I don't have nothing against her. I know her. I know of her. But, you know, I'm too grown for that. So, we're going to move over to Jackie. And Dre get to talking. <sighs> that was a little confusing scene for me. Maybe y'all felt that too. But Jackie, she's like, I can't believe you doing all that. You just came for me like it. Well, I'm paraphrasing again. And Dre was like, oh my goodness, you're crazy. She's like, oh, so you're going to run back and tell the girls I'm crazy? She's like, I have a lot of, you're going to go back and tell the hookers. She didn't say the girls, she said those hookers. So now they hookers. They, well, yesterday, they had the best friends in your world, y'all sisters and everything, but now they hookers. And Dre was like, you know, people need to see this because they know I ain't going to believe this. She's like, well, I'm going to be in a movie. I'm going to be walking a red carpet. I'm going to be doing everything. Y'all are just jealous. Y'all hookers are going to be at home just watching me. And Jackie, after she said that, she just started praying. And Dre was like, who are you praying to? She's like, Jesus, who do you pray for? Dre was like, Jesus. She's like, I'm just saying. She's like, I don't I'm, I know people be saying that I'm satanic and I worship the devil. He's like, she said, and I quote. I, I'm not even going to say I quote because I'm, I'm paraphrasing. She's like, I'm no friend of Lazarus. And Dre was like, who's Lazarus? You don't know who Lazarus is? Who is his name? Now, I think there was a store called Lazarus back in the day in Indiana. But, you know, that's not the devil's name, Jackie. I don't know if you just, if you were so hype that you misspoke. Or you was trying to be smart and said the wrong word. I thought that's what it was. So, the jury's still out on that. Dre was like, yeah, Jackie ain't changed. She's still crazy. She's just not being crazy around everybody at once. She's coming to it one little by little. I guess she's just going to sprain the crazy on everybody at once, like next week when everybody get to fighting. I want to see what happens. Yeah. 
Fred's and Jackie, she has not changed. She's just not showing her crazy as much as she was last season. Yeah. So, that was basically the gist of the episode. If I left anything out, by all 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 means, leave a comment or a video response. And like always, I want to thank my subscribers and the people who watch my videos. I want you to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and here on YouTube. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.